Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, Meg Ellen Cole, who is on uh, HGTV Handmade along with me, and she also has her own channel. Meg Ellen Cole Crafts. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. I love your channel. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm in New York, I'm just visiting, so I thought we would hang out and film a little video. And this is going to be a part of my Would You Rather series. This time it's all about DIY. I love it. So I'm just gonna read the questions, and then we're both just gonna talk it out. Feel free to leave your answers down in the comments. I think I need coffee <laughs> for this, but then yes, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Would you rather have it rain glitter from the ceiling of your home or have your house flooded with a couple inches of Mod Podge? Whoa. <laughs> Mod Podge, I think, because glitter is like... What did you say when we first all met up the first time? Karen was like, glitter is the devil uh, yeah. of craft supplies. Oh, it's awful. It, it like, is. You'll never get rid of it. You'll never get yeah. rid of it. So even though Mod Podge involves glue, <laughs> I still think it would be easier to get rid of than yeah. glitter. Although glitter is funsy. Oh, and with this question, with all of the questions, don't worry about your pets. You have no pets in these scenarios. Oh, well, then it's just a yeah. horrible world that we live in. Um, I think I might go with the glitter, actually. It's just, fun and pretty. Yeah, like everything would be kind of sparkly. And then I feel like the Mod Podge just like ruin everything that's yeah. like close to the floor. That's true. <laughs> and there isn't anything really sparkly about Mod Podge. Yeah. Whereas at least with glitter, it's, you know, a little bit magical. <laughs> Although imagine if you had both. <laughs> then you'd never get rid of glitter for the you rest of your life. You just have to move, just leave. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> question number two. Would you rather have a five minute shopping spree at Michael's? So you just run through the store, anything you can grab in five minutes, you can take home. Oh my gosh. Or pick one aisle of Michael's to take home with you. Just everything in that aisle. A spree. I like to have a spree because then you get variety of everything and a spree. Yeah. Oh my I, gosh, that'd be amazing. I was thinking with the aisle, like if you pick something that had really expensive stuff, you could always resell it and then buy more, like a bigger variety of stuff. I like your entrepreneurial <laughs> attitude about this one. I like it. Always, always think big. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I would go for the shopping spree too. That would be, be so fun. Just be so able to fun. like grab whatever you can. Like that old school supermarket Shopping sweet spree thing. Yes, and, I love that show. But involving <laughs> glitter and Mod Podge and all the other fantastic things. As long as it doesn't like, like break in your cart. Yeah. You have so much washi tape, you could like weave a hammock. I mean, <laughs> just yeah. put out an arm to sweep everything. I in. love it. I want to do that. Would you rather not be able to DIY anything for a year or never be able to watch another DIY video for the rest of your life? That's really hard. Because <laughs> I love your videos and all the videos of our girls and. But I have to make stuff too. I think, I think I'd have to make, and I'd yeah. have to just like talk to you guys on the phone and have you like talk it through with me or something because I just gotta make, right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I would, uh, yeah, I have to All make. Right. I think I might. I mean, if I could go and do something else for a year, if I went and like traveled the world for a year and didn't have time to DIY stuff anyway, right? I might do that, and then so I wouldn't have to give up like videos yeah. and the internet and stuff. Um, yeah. Well, so I think if I had like a second like a plan yeah, yeah. Um, something to take up my time that's not DIYing stuff yeah. then I could probably do it yeah yeah <laughs> if someone offered you a, a trip around the world for a yeah. year okay no problem <laughs> would you rather sweat watercolor paints or have yarn for hair Ooh, <laughs> ooh sweating watercolor paint would be so cool like that would be like it'd be really pretty it'd be but pretty. like everybody would know exactly where you were sweating that's you true. would stain all of your clothes ooh, that's true <laughs> and that would not be so cute to have like ombre purple going down your back in a job interview when you're trying to like look like it's you could only cool. wear like black for, for the rest of your life yeah <laughs> But I still think it would be like an art installation every single day of your life. That would, and like a Lady Gaga video. Yeah. <laughs> Although if you were a knitter, it might be really handy to have yarn for hair. Because yeah, you could just grow like, it and you wouldn't have to like buy it all the time. You always yeah. have. I like it. I like it. Okay. Would you rather have paint brushes for fingers or have pencils for toes? Whoa. <laughs> and not like long pencils, just like a little pencil tip at the end of your little toe. Little pencil tips at the end of our toe. Or paintbrushes for fingers. Well, that would be like a really artistic and beautiful Edward Scissorhand moment. Like Meg, yeah. Meg Word paintbrush hand. Um, but I think I'm, I'm a little too practical. I'm like, I think that the pencils for toes would have to be it. Because I just think it would be such a fun like party trick. Yeah. You're just like at a party and you're like, hey guys, you want to see something cool? Yeah, I can you write all of your names in one, one foul. You take smooth. off your shoes. You're yeah. like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But you could do some serious, amazing murals if you're yeah, hands or you just, like, paintbrushes. Yeah, you just paint all the time. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. 
Or, like, if you did makeup, you could just, like, yeah. your finger, like, you would just, yeah. If you sweat <laughs> watercolors and then you had <laughs> paper hands, you'd just be like, well, woo, and everything would be beautiful. <laughs> I think pencils for toes, just because, yeah. you know. Same. Maybe if it was just, like, one paintbrush for, like, one finger. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be cool. Would you rather have every single blade that you use in crafting for the rest of your life, like, every scissor, exacto knife, etc., be really, like, gunked up and dull? Yeah. Or always have to craft in near darkness i can clean a blade i can clean a blade but no you're not allowed to clean it you, oh. have, to, you have to use it when it's all gross <laughs> and you can't have like a, a, some sort of other light it has to be dark no it's like it's like it's like dusk darkness <laughs> wow I, I i still think it'd have to be the blades because i mean homie needs your eyeballs right like i need to be able to see yeah i, I think dull blades yeah i think i'd be a little well with both of them actually i'd be worried about hurting myself but then like slipping but then also like in darkness like slipping also yes because like if you put a hot glue gun with darkness that is danger yeah not to mention a utility knife Mm -hmm. or a rotary cutter Mm -hmm. i mean that's just Mm -hmm. i like my fingers or paintbrushes or whatever they might be might be i want to keep them so yeah I also have trouble seeing in general. Like, I wear uh-huh. contacts and I'm very, very blind. Mm-hmm. So any help I can get yeah, I to mean, see. You would ad- I guess you would adjust to the darkness. Like, like you'd be able to, like, ver- vaguely see what you're doing. You just wouldn't see all, like, the colors and mm-hmm. the exact, like, everything. Yeah. I think dull I guess blades. it depends on the type of project. You could probably... Yeah. Like, some stuff you could do in the dark. But then right. A lot of others that are, like, really intricate. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no. that'd be super hard. <laughs> Interesting. What would you rather... I think I'd go with the dull blades as well. Because so I guess, like, you could learn to, like, figure out how to get around that. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. It would be gross, though. Yeah. Oh. All right. So those were all of the questions. What do you think? That was super fun. I love it. That's a really fun game. <laughs> well, we'll have to brainstorm more. And then yeah. when you come to L.A. at some point, Absolutely. we can do this again. <laughs> Absolutely. And get the other girls in on it. Yeah. I dig it. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me on your channel, yeah, Karen. thank you for coming. If you guys don't know Meg, um, she makes weekly videos over on Handmade on Mondays. So um, I'll link to that, as well as her own main channel, where she makes more DIY videos and all kinds of stuff. I have very exciting <laughs> stuff coming for Mac, my own channel. It's called Meg Allen Cole Crafts, in case you're wondering what I do, because we make it pretty clear. We craft and make stuff. <laughs> and we're but, also, um, while we're here, we're also filming videos for handmade so i'll link those down below and you guys can go check them out if you want more diy stuff from both of us yeah. <laughs> thanks for having me my dear yeah thanks for coming you're welcome i think that's it so i will see you all next time bye everyone